Hi, I'm Ash Warren. I'm CEO and Chief Engineer here at Inisma. We're here today to talk to you about different demonstrations of projector technologies we've been doing with our visualisation partner, ST Engineering Anticip. I'm here today with John Mould, who's Commercialisation Manager, to talk about some of the work we've been doing over the last couple of weeks, showing off the different projector technologies that are available alongside our DMG1 demonstrator system. Yes, yeah, so what we've been trying to do is to enable Denisma to expose different uh, light engine technology for their clients so they can get a side-by-side -side comparison of the evolution of projection technology. Okay, so in particular, I think we've had three different projectors here over the last couple of weeks, two of which are the absolute latest. So can you explain the differences between those two technologies for us? Sure. So what we've started with is to go with the traditional UHP lamp-based technologies, um, which is now phasing out to be replaced by the solid-state light sources. So it's important to see two generations of solid-state, one being the laser-based, laser-phosphor-based light sources and the LED light sources. Explain to us you know, what are the relative benefits and merits of the, the laser-phosphor and the LED. Traditionally, we've been using the UHP lamp-based technologies, which has a consumable at the heart of it. And this has often been one of the issues for many customers when they're operating simulators, and they've got to demand that simulator have availability for long time periods. And the performance of lamps degrade um, very quickly. So what we have with the solid-state technologies is the ability for longevity for customers to, to have better color reproduction, wider color gamuts, and to have more brightness effective onto the screen surfaces, but uh, we're able to run these technologies for 20,000 hours, or in LED technologies, up to 100,000 hours, and with very little degradation over that time. The customers we've been talking to, they really appreciate the fact that with the 100,000 hours, you almost put it up there and you, you, you just do not have to worry about it. Yeah, so I think it's very interesting the point of time that we are at the moment because the projectors are evolving constantly and we're seeing that on the roadmap we're starting to get the native 4K projectors but with the bandwidth of electronics to cope with up to 240 frames per second which is uh, very important for your type of clients. Really. Things like yaw blurring etc, uh, the stability of the image as the driver is going through high yaw rates and also where there's a, a high amount of high frequency content, it's really important to get that uh, higher frame rate. So we're very excited about um, being able to get the joint benefits of the high resolution of 4K and 240Hz into the future. Here at Denesma, we develop driving simulator solutions for automotive OEMs and motorsport teams from across the world. These comprise our unique motion generator technology, but also the visualisation solutions provided by our partner, SC Engineering Anderson. If you've got any questions about any of the technology that we've seen or discussed today, please get in touch.